In this section of the workshop, let's take a look at the Arrange menu and what we can do with objects by using that menu. First of all, we'll start with our shapes in the middle, and I'm going to select the yellow square by clicking on it, and then let's go look at the Arrange menu and see about changing the order. Now you'll notice that this yellow square is back behind everything else. No matter what I do, it stays behind the other three, uh, two other objects on the screen. So what if I want to bring that up to the front or even just bring it in front of one of the other objects? Well, we use the Arrange menu for that. So what we do is we're going to click on Arrange. We're going to go to Order. And one of the things we could do is we could pull that all the way to the front right away. Or we can bring it forward one layer at a time, depending on how we created the object. So let's just say we want to bring it forward one layer. And then we're going to try that again. So there we go, one layer there. And now it's dependent on everything else on the screen. So you notice I had to do that twice to get it to pull it out. That's probably because I created one of these other uh, objects in between creating my shapes. So let's go, we'll go arrange again, go to the order. Now let's just go ahead and we're gonna bring that all the way to the front of everything. Now this is in front of everything. So this could take quite a while to get it back behind the other objects on the screen. So you always have to keep track of the order that you created things in. Now I say, oh, that triangle should not be behind everything. So again, I'm just gonna select it, come to order and bring it to the front. Same way as bringing things to the back. So you can really quickly order, reorder shapes on the screen as long as you keep in mind that uh, everything on the screen, every object you create, is part of that order on that one. So sometimes you do have to repeat things three or four times to get to do what you want to do if you do it one layer at a time. So that's pretty much uh, uh, as far as shapes go. We'll come back to these shapes in just a little bit and take a look at some other things that we might be able to do that are interesting with, with transparency of the fill color. Now, another thing you can do under the Arrange menu is that we can um, select these uh, labels and we can align things. You notice how one, two, three, that looks terrible, doesn't it? They're not aligned. They're not equally spaced. Now, you could spend a lot of time by clicking these and then dragging them around on the screen, trying to get everything just right, and it, you, you'll spend a lot of time. Well, Google Draw and Slides has some great tools to help you align things. So let's just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by clicking outside of the three text labels, and I'm going to drag over the top. I can select all of them. Now, if we go back under the Arrange menu again, now i got some other tools that we can do. So one of the things we could do is we can align all of these on the left edge. That looks pretty good, huh, on that. So... Again, under the Arrange menu, we can align them on the left, we could align them on the right, um, and in case this case, the boxes are aligned on the right, you should look at that. We can also align things vertically, so we can align them all by the bottom. Now in this case, if we do that, that will push everything together, so that isn't really what we want to do. Let's undo that. Um, what we want to do is we want to select all of these and equally space them between them. Well, that's another option on the Arrange menu, which is the Distribute menu. So let's just say we want to distribute those evenly on a vertical plane. So we click on there, and now look at that. By using dis um, Align and Distribute, we have these perfectly placed text labels. And we can do that in two clicks really quickly. Pretty slick. Uh, let's take another look at some other things on that Arrange menu. I don't know if you noticed, but there's this Rotate option, and we can... Let's just say that we've got this person on here and we really need her to be on the left hand side. Now having her look off the slide is a little bit disconcerting and uh, it doesn't really make sense to a person watching this. So what we want to do is we want to flip her so that she is looking into the slide, not out of it. So we can use the arrange rotate button and then we can use this old friendly flip horizontal. And now she's on the right side of the slide looking in and it makes sense now that she's part of that slide. So again, that was just under the rotate. Uh, you got some other tools where you can rotate uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. It's just a, it's a good safe way if you just need to really quickly flip things and you don't want to use the rotate handle on that one. Um, the other thing that you can do, as you'll notice, is that once you've got something and you've got it the way you want it, and again, I'll drag over the top to select those, 
we can also go back to that arrange and we can group things if we want to. And now, whenever I want to move this around, I just grab it and I've got all three. They all stay nicely uh, formatted for me and I don't lose anything. The cool thing is, is you can still come back in and change things inside the, the um, group, but it stays together when you want to move it. Grouping is kind of kind of a critical thing to be able to do on that one. So there's a nice little uh, segue into arranging and a lot of things you can do to make things fast when you're trying to set up a, um, a newsletter or a book or something like that. Mm -hmm.